gorillas in the boss dog, planet of the apes. Hi Bucks, it's Caleb and I'm here with the new episode of the 2012 year. Alright, this one is going to be amazing y'all. Like seriously, we got Power 106 game, we got soccer, we got a music video, and just an exclusive interview with Mr. Nicholson. Seriously, one of the best episodes I've ever worked on. So stay tuned. Is, is that, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, alright, cool. This is something like the Holocaust Millions of our people lost Buy heads and pay to the law Till I die I Now who gon' stop me? Who gon' stop me? Who gon' stop me? Who gon' stop me? Black cars, black cars Black on black, black bras Whole lot of money in the black bag Black <laughs>
Hennessy. Ms. Hennessy, what inspired you to bring the word of the month to Bellflower? Okay, this is kind of a weird story, but we were sitting in a teacher meeting and our new superintendent, Dr. Jacobs, came in and was talking about character and how character was going to be really important at Bellflower this year. And he gave us all these words that went with character, like all these different words. And I started thinking about the words and I th started thinking about Bellflower and I thought, oh my gosh, you know what? We should do that. We should go month by month because that's what we are. We build character every year. So that's kind of where it all came from. So I looked at all the letters and realized that if you took each letter and went, you know, month by month by month, you'd get to the last letter in June. So that's kind of where it came from. Um, for a student, I guess it would be telling the truth when a teacher especially asks you about something, taking responsibility if you made a mistake or if you did something that was inappropriate, and being honest to your friends as well. Being truthful to yourself. Um, truthful, faithful, and respectful. Honesty means telling your parents the right reason why you failed in Algebra 1 or Geometry. That's what honesty is. To me, honesty means being honest with yourself and doing the right thing when nobody's watching. And to you, Ms. Bailey? Well, I would have to agree with Ms. Buderbaugh. Um, I think honesty as a character trait is the moment that you have to wake up in your life and recognize all the mistakes you've made and you have to face yourself um, in light of the consequences. So there you have it, my fellow peers. Everybody's opinion about honesty, coming to being respectful and saying the truth. So make sure you gotta be sincere, trust, trustworthy, and despite the consequences, you gotta be honest. So those who don't, who don't say the truth, make sure you start saying the truth because honesty leads to your success because you gotta be honest about yourself. So, you know, think about what honesty means to you. So there you have it.
She's the keys to my starter and my automatic car Yeah, she make me wanna go harder and she always lift the bar Yeah, she keep that spotlight glowing cause she is a superstar Everybody notice this girl when she step up in the place where the air up on The way she cranks it up, the way she cranks it up Hi, this is Buck TV, and I'm Anthony Harold here with Jonathan Sifra, and today we have a special interview for all of you watching. It is very special. Our interview will be about Mr. Nicholson, and he will explain how he came to be. This is a very influential interview, so please refrain from talking. Here it goes. I was born in Hawthorne on July 4th, 1976, Independence Day, Independence Year. I was born in Hawthorne, California. My family is from South Central Los Angeles, now it's called Central LA. My father graduated from Crenshaw High School. And five of my uncles, I have uh, four aunts, they went to Gardena Sarah High School. I graduated from Fountain Valley High School and went on to college, played football at the University of Washington. It's the first uh, person in my family to ever uh, attend college. So if no one in your family has attended college, don't let that be the excuse for you not to go. And the reason why I became a counselor is because I had older brothers, three older brothers that were involved in gangs, and they weren't positive influences on my life. So I wanted to be a counselor so that I could be a positive influence on uh, young students' lives. Um, I started working with kids in high school playing uh, football as a coach, and I had an experience with some students that were illegal and did not have green cards. So I assisted them in getting their paperwork and all their documentation, and the head football coach had suggested I become a counselor. Once I looked into it and realized that counselors make some pretty good money, and uh, we get uh, vacations, Thanksgiving, Christmas break, spring break, and all summer off, and I could still continue coaching football, I went ahead and got my master's degree from National University. It took me about three years. I had to do 600 hours of internship, which means I worked for an entire year unpaid, lived off my credit cards, and I still make payments on those. And uh, speaking of payments, apparently these young men want to know about my Range Rover. Don't get it twisted. I didn't buy it brand new. I am not that dumb. It is a used Range Rover. I just make it look real good. I'm not going to tell you guys what I pay for it, but I'll tell you that I probably pay more than what your parents pay for rent. With that said, without an education, I wouldn't be able to pay for anything. I got my master's degree because my parents always enforced that I be educated so that I'll have options. With options, I have power. With power, I can do what I want to do when I want to do it. I can wear what I want to wear, eat what I want to eat, and drive what I want to drive. And I can come and go and I don't have to answer to anyone. So without that, I'd be stuck. So I'm Mr. Nicholson, and all I'm here to say is get your education so you can eat what you want to eat, wear what you want to wear, go where you want to go, and have the power to choose what you want to do.
have any questions or concerns, come see me. Hang all the mistletoe. I'm gonna I'm here with Ryan Rose. And we're introducing New Year's resolution. Uh, mine is to go to church, because I don't go to church no more. And I need to start eating more because I need to gain some more weight. And mine is to be nice and to more focus on school. I just need more followers on Twitter. And uh, I'm bringing Jerkin back. It's a movement out here. We're not playing no games. I'm here with Bree, Kiana. What's your New Year's resolution? <laughs> to hit Get up to your ratchet parties. <laughs> To hopefully become a Victoria's Secret Angel. Victoria's Secret Angel. I think you're pretty enough to do that. Good luck. Good luck. Make money. Make money. Make money how? Balling. Uh, two way state champ. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. Good luck. It's probably to get some good grades. Yeah. I think I want some good grades. Grades. How are you gonna do that? I mean, I'm gonna focus on my homework, tests, school. Good luck with that, bro. Hope you hope you achieve your goal. I will. All right. All right, man. All right. <laughs> I want to go to the gym more, of course, like everybody else. And hopefully, I want to find a career to pursue for college. That's my goal. I want to find something I love to do and hopefully <laughs> go over it. To become just like Jocelyn Zapita. Hey, she looks those your New Year's resolutions. What do you guys want for Christmas? I want a Justin Bieber poster. Uh, I want a Twilight poster. Very nice. <laughs> Nathan. Karina. And what do you guys want for Christmas? Um, Barbie Dream House, Fairy Tales Five, the movie. <laughs> okay. And a unicorn. What's your name? Mr. Hunter. And what do you want for Christmas? That's easy. I want world peace <laughs> and a ten, ten pound <laughs> box of Count Chocula. Don't lie. What's that? Chocolate cereal. Okay. With marshmallows. I hope you get that. Come on, Terry. <laughs> What's your name? Remy. What do you guys want for Christmas? Your love. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? Your heart. Aww. That's adorable. Hey, I'm here with... Leslie. Julie. And what do you guys want for Christmas? Peace on Earth. Her. I'm here with... Uh, Brandon. What do you want for Christmas? Well, like, I guess a ticket to Hawaii so I could wear a shirt like this. Because it doesn't really work out right here. You know? For sure. Swag. I'm here with? Alex. What do you want for Christmas? Uh, I just want a lot of clothes. For sure. What I want for Christmas is an A in Spencer's class and a one-way ticket to New Zealand to go find me a rugby player. Hi, I'm here with? Richard. And what do you want for Christmas? I want a girlfriend. Thank you. <laughs> I hope that's Hi, what's your name? Maurice. And what do you want for Christmas? Um, I think I would like some Dre beats. If you guys can have anything in the world for Christmas, what would you guys want? Uh, white boy 7th street sweater. <laughs> uh, trampoline. Waffles. What's your name? What? And what do you want for Christmas? Christmas. I would like a date with you. <laughs> if you can have anything in the world for Christmas, what would you want? I would like a trip to Austria. All expenses paid. First class ticket. I'd like to go to Salzburg and Vienna. Okay. Thank you. That's how it's gonna go. That's how it's gonna go down. Alright, ready? Right.